Good evening, I'm Sherman DeSalle. On this second weekend of Jazz Fest, it's no secret that New Orleans is the birthplace of jazz, but a Louisiana state lawmaker wants the world to know there's another kind of music with New Orleans roots. WDSU's Harrison Golden, he's live with how one legislator's mission is starting to win over a crowd. Harrison, what's up? Well, Sherman, when it comes to rock and roll, State Representative Tanner McGee is taking a pretty hard line stance here. Others may disagree, but he says New Orleans right here is the birthplace of rock and roll. And it was really the story that Louisiana should be telling. Ever since walking in Memphis years ago, State Representative and self-touted music nerd Tanner McGee has been out to write a rock and roll misconception. One of the frustrating things about Sun Records is that they claim to be the home of the first rock and roll song. This is categorically untrue. He says rock and roll's true bedrock sits in New Orleans and one of the city's favorite sons. A lot of people can make claim for it, but it's undeniable that Fats Domino released The Fat Man in 1949, which is a full two years before Ike Turner's Rocket 88. Now McGee is taking his quest to the Louisiana State Capitol in Baton Rouge. He's promoting a bill to create a state-sponsored rock and roll museum near the site of the Dew Drop Inn. The Central City Nightclub welcomed rock and roll when others shunned it. You can draw a direct line from Fats Domino to reggae to DJ Hercule in New York back to New Orleans bounce music today. I mean, it's 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 an, music is an evolution of people being influenced by one another. And we've been lucky and blessed that um, Louisiana has been at the epicenter of all of it. So far, McGee's big idea has been catching on, not just among fellow lawmakers, but also among New Orleans' utmost rock and roll authorities who argue this city, not Memphis, holds first dibs. We're one of the cultural epicenters of America, let's be honest, right? There's so many great gems that all come from here and the mixing of cultures that go down. Lee Ray helps run Peach's records on Magazine Street. When New Orleanians want a lesson in rock and roll high school, they come here. But people forget, I mean, we'll be the first to say it, without fats, there is no rock and roll. From 1955 to 62, nobody had more number one hits than the Fat Man, and that's a fact. That's why Ray says, ain't that a shame that a museum honoring the Central City venue's influence hasn't come sooner. And unfortunately, you know, you know that LaSalle corridor, you know, where the Dew Drop Inn is located has you know, long since been forgotten by many. This would be an amazing opportunity to see some revitalization in that neighborhood. Of something that's so important, you know, it's, it's good to see authentic things kind of brewing. And this is like the most, you know, the coolest thing we've seen in a long time for our, our you know, music heritage, for sure. It's, it's a big project, and I think it's something that, when it's all said and done, it's going to rejuvenate the neighborhood around it and, uh, you know, continue the story of music in Louisiana.